Hello, it's Diego Sanchez here, giving you another little tip that you can do as a sort of meditation wherever you are. So I'm keeping my socks on and I'm sitting, sitting on a chair, so it's easy for you to imagine doing this anywhere. Okay, so bring your foot on top of the opposite leg and what you want to do is uh, start exploring the spaces between the bones of the feet. The idea here is, is we're not going to be rubbing the foot uh, parallel to the surface of the foot, which feels good, but we're going to go in perpendicularly. So uh, in the dorsum of the foot here, you can imagine that it could be as if you're playing a guitar. It's um, kind of like pulling into each of those spots that are in between the bones or try to uh, sort of like press perpendicularly you know with your extended thumb try not to do that whenever possible with the extended thumb into all the different places that it feels good doing okay you can work on each toe And give sort of like a general body work. This is a technique is called shiatsu, and it's I mean shiatsu is Japanese body work therapy, and it it's a general generic word that describes uh, uh, pressure um, it means pressure with the thumbs or pressure with the f fingers. In Japanese okay, and this is what we're trying to do here just press in each point you don't need to uh, make circles or anything like that if you just uh, relax your body weight into each of the points you won't have to contract your shoulders or your arms or your neck as you do this so uh, everything will be working towards the same aim of relaxing your whole body. Although you're working with just the foot, this has an effect in the whole body. Okay, This point over here, for example, in the center of the heel, is a very good point to help you sleep. So if you wake up at night, for example, and you, 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 this is a very good point to calm your mind and help you to go back to sleep. And this point here too, if you uh, bring your toes forward, there's a little dimple that's formed in the center of the ball of the foot and you relax your toes and go in perpendicularly into that point. If you want, you can use the hand on the opposite side of the foot and visualize that your uh, energy is uh, penetrating the foot and going straight into the palm of the hand. It's also a very good point to bring the energy down if you're having a headache. Or if in the middle of the day you have a very busy mind or if you have anxiety, for example, playing around with your feet is an excellent way to change your day. I mean, this very simple routine that can be done in a couple of minutes will definitely change how you feel. I would like you to compare, once we finish this, when you place your feet on the ground again, compare how the food that you just worked on feels in relationship to the food that you haven't. And you immediately see that it's not just the food that seems to be more relaxed and more, it has more, con more points of contact of the soles of your feet with the ground, but you've, you can easily see that the whole left side of the body in this case for me is going to open up and relax and it's going to improve the circulation and at the same time that it relaxes it's very revitalizing you know it's like you're going to be able to f keep on working if you have to and if you finish working this is going to really put you into a mood of restoration and reparation you know help you to let go 
of the stress of the day. Okay, now we want to do a little stretch with the opposite hand, and you're gonna see here that the whole front of the of the leg is gonna be relaxing, and then we did the same with the opposite hand. So you, the toes go up, and you feel the soles of your feet relaxing. All right. Now we can separate the first toe from the second, the second from the third, the third from the fourth, and the fourth toe from the fifth toe. So you make like a little V in between the toes. And it can go also into this space where the ball of the foot ends. And there's a beginning of a, of the toes, and you can hook your finger your fingertips there. If your nails are long, uh, this might be a little uh, painful. So either keep your nails short, or you're gonna have to try going in at a different angle. Okay, we can finish by making, say for example, nine circles in one direction, and nine circles in the opposite direction. And this is something that you can do anywhere. So I really highly encourage you to do it. Enjoy. Thank you.